today what we are going to do on this channel is installing a velcro strap for shotgun cards by either Maxpedition, Blackhawk I'm pretty sure makes one, um, but I got the STAC, um, SKD Tactical and uh, Multicam. It's pretty cool. Um, got here pretty fast. Ships out of Missouri. Uh, I'm up in California. Box is real nice. Give me some five hour. Um, cool stickers, you know, to put on your gun cases or car or whatnot. You know, nice packing slip. Took about, you know, three days or so. But what we're going to do is what you want to do first is you want to prep the 870. So what you're going to want is you're going to want some rubbing alcohol right here. And then you're going to want to apply that with the paper towel just gently. You're not trying to scrape it in or anything on the area in which we, you're going to apply it. So right about here. Let's put this down real quick. All right. So when you're applying the alcohol, what you want to do is you want to apply it liberally. You don't want to... You don't want to like drown it or anything, you know, because I mean, it doesn't really matter. But for future projects, you don't want to waste it up. So, see how I'm doing it here, just lightly rubbing it over, just some swirls or strikes, whatever, whatever you want. And this really helps with um, cleaning up um, the plastic um, MOE grips, speed feed grips, and whatnot. So it just uh, you want to get all the grease and all the other things, you know, like powders and dirt or whatever you may have picked up running through the woods or range or whatnot. So you want to just let that sit on in. Then once it starts to split from itself, dry it up a bit. Okay. Well, I did. I actually did this before. Um, a lot of people do uh, the Velcro brand. I just got this um, at a hardware store. Um, any hardware store. I particularly got it at um, Osh, but I'm sure Home Depot and Lowe's carries it too. Um, but what I did is um, I pre-cut it um, before the video. Probably should have done that. But um, you can just easily cut these with scissors. Um, I cut it like this because I'm kind of a tacticware. I don't want it to cover the paint job I just did right here. So I'm going to let it sit like this. So the SKD little shotgun card this comes in positive so you want to put um, the negative or female end on the shotgun so don't put the don't put the male ends on because that's going to be kind of a pain and then it just comes with this nice little sticker on the back what you do is you just peel that off now now that the surface is clean from the alcohol just want to click it on down and what I like to do is I think I'm going to put it right with the contour I'm going to put it right with the contour, like right on the line where it goes from the receiver bevel. So when it curves upwards, it can still have an upward grip, but you know, if you ever choose to put ghost rings or anything, you know, the shotgun card's not going to be nuts on there, you know, up in your field of view. All right. So, and don't worry about, um, I mean, you know, it's only four bucks, so some little felt is probably going to go if you scrape it a bit. So just let it adhere, um, room temperature, you know, like it's not really hot today, so that's nice. And then it should look like that. So see how it's just sitting right there. Um, plus another thing that's really um, advantageous about this too is for if any reason you can't do the pull tab, um, really makes it easy for your fingers to make positive contact with the metal than the Velcro rather than just fingers to velcro so you've got like a little gap in between there so that'd be nice and what I would suggest doing is at least letting this you know anything in the gun world is usually about 20 minutes to an hour so I would probably wait about 20 minutes oh my dog's checking this out so yeah and then the one that I got I think uh, SKD tactical the only one that they do offer is seven which is great because you know I drives me up the wall when people do five and six because they know Mossberg and Remington's in the tactical sense carry at least seven plus and you know or seven but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it you know you can put it either way you want but if you're loading I'll put it this way so if you choose to get another one you just rip it right on out so let's see what it looks like just put it right on there 
now. Looking pretty badass. Just installed this MOE grip today, so might do, might uninstall it and then do another video. But here's how it looks. Just like that. So you got nice, nice, nice. And it does look like really good quality. Like it, it feels top quality. It's not like, you know, airsoft quality or anything. You know, it's just like very, very, very nice, you know, ripstop nylon. And it's got this really positive loop right here. But I'm going to put this back down, um, test out little shell. I've got a birdshot shell right here. So let's just put it right in the center over here. And I heard, um, just heard from other people that have this. Um, you can either put it up or down, whatever one you want. Um, I've heard from other people that these are pretty stiff, as you can see. Like, I mean, yeah, it's it's new. I would hope it would be, but you know, like just right on there. You know, if you're if you prefer to bottom load it. Me personally, I like the top load. So whenever you're doing a tactical reload, so I think. And if I put this in the car, when I can move back, I'm um, going to keep maybe slugs slugs on the side and buckshot in the pipe. So, yeah, right on there. Looks just real nice. Um, you know, just awesome product. Got to me really fast. You know, gave me five out of room, gave me a couple of stickers, um, Magpul, um, this MOE, MOE grip. You know, thank God Magpul's. Price ego is calming down a little bit. Um, got this for 27 shipped from um, uh, Psy Outdoors, I think. It was off of Amazon, so just got to look. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.